Hi, this is Dr. Saila. Today's topic is about corn and how to steam the corn. First of all, I just want to emphasize on something. This is one of the grains that I for sure buy only organic because much of the corn produced today is genetically modified. For anyone who is wondering what GMO corn is, it was started in 1980 unfortunately to withstand a herbicide called Roundup. This herbicide typically kills both weeds and plants. GMO plants are not killed when this herbicide is used. Only weeds are killed because this technique made it so much easier for farmers to kill the weeds and not kill the crops when herbicide is sprayed. Not only that, insect pests do not come near these plants. Now, let's talk about the health benefits of corn. Assuming that you're buying organic corn, yellow corn contains antioxidant carotenoids, leutin and zeaxanthin. You know, corn is very rich in fiber and this fiber nourishes our lower gastrointestinal tract. When this fiber, especially soluble fiber, reaches the lower GI tract, it is metabolized by good bacteria in intestines, which convert it into short-chain fatty acids. These uh, short-chain fatty acids provide energy to the cells that line the intestines. This healthy and intact lining of your intestines plays a key role to keep your immune system strong. If you don't have a healthy lining of your intestines, you are at risk of getting colon cancer, allergies and many chronic conditions. That we know corn is good for you, let's see how we can consume it. And these are my young corn stalks. This picture is actually from my garden. These are four week old corn plants. And these are mature plants with corn ears and silk. These are some exotic multicolored corn ears that I bought from the store. Although corn is available all year round, it's cheaper and fresh from local farms and much more flavorful in summertime. Corns roasted on open flame are very popular in India. But steaming corn is the best way to eat it because it retains most of the nutrients. If you like it sweeter, just choose the tender corn. All you need to steam the corn is just a deep pot and a steam basket. You don't even need the steam basket. If you don't have it, you can just steam it in a deep pot. I'll tell you in a second. First, shuck the corn and discard the husks and remove as much silk as possible and cut off the bad spots and trim the ends. And then add about 2 inches of water to any deep pot. Bring the water to boil in high heat until it comes to rolling boil. And then add the corns to any steam basket and cover the pot. I happen to buy this asparagus pot but you can use any steaming pot. Don't let the water come into the steamer basket. You can actually use any steamer insert and break the corn cobs into halves if necessary to fit them all in the basket. Even if you don't have a steamer insert, you can just cook them in any white pot. Just add about 2 inches of water and add corn when the water comes to rolling boil and cover it. But if you don't have a steamer basket, just remember not to immerse the corn completely in water. You should just have about 2 inches of water at the bottom. And corn cobs take about 7 to 9 minutes to cook depending on the tenderness of the corn. They turn tender and deep yellow when they're done. Remove the corns with tongs. You can have them plain or you can serve them with the butter, salt, pepper, lemon, garlic or any spices of your choice. And corns are very rich in starch. Beans and corns is a great combination because beans are rich in protein and corns are rich in starch. We are all done for today. Always remember your health is in your hands.